Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to uh, January 6, 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards <clears throat> I want to remind you that that is a general reading for Scorpio star sign and therefore is going to resonate in a different level with every single different Scorpio so for that reason in this video I will explain uh, the meanings of the or the cards or I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards their synergy in the spread but at the end you will have to align them with your personal situation now if you want your personal situation to be analyzed just like I'm doing for the examples in this video uh, you have to go for a personal reading and for personal readings Please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So that set aside cutting the cards and uh, the first one which is marking the topic of our Scorpio week this is going to be the Eight of Swords. Second, that is going to be the core of the situation. We do have the Page of Swords. Then it is the Magician card, which is the core of the situation. Uh, the uh, challenges which are causing predicaments, that is going to be uh, the Magician, as I said. And the last one, which is the Guidance, that will be the Ace of Cups. So, uh, just as an overview here, it does look like that you are going to make some brainstorming. Now, unfortunately, however, for us, Scorpio, it doesn't look like that we will be able to uh, find a way out of our situation, whatever the situation is. Now, the Eight of Swords here points how bound we are. Now, we are having here the literal meaning of the card being... Uh, being blocked, being bound, uh, and that is most likely through communications, through verbal speeches, and etc. etc. As the swords represent mind, and you express your mind through, through, um, through talking. So, with that particular sense, uh, this card may point to misunderstandings, uh, into one's arguments, or into one's. Um, um, negotiations should I say that way or as well misunderstandings into one relationship the card as well could uh, could represent that someone is they cannot understand you and therefore they are messing up with your things all right and how you Scorpio or we Scorpio can really overcome that card it can happen couple in a couple of ways the first one is that if we, if we define or we realize that we are um, constraining ourselves on our own accord, well, we have to start looking outside of the box. So you need to be, we need to be open-minded. If uh, the situation involves other people, simple elaboration upon your intentions and uh, as well upon your performance is simply going to do the job. Now the Eight of Swords, uh, it's kind of like, um, sometimes uh, in some books it's, it's interpreted in a very negative way. It's interpreted like a disaster, it's interpreted like one has lost their ways and etc, etc. I don't see that happening. Now, the, the way that I'm seeing this, these cards is, um, I'll try to explain it that way. So you're sitting in a point A. And you know that you want to go in a point B, you know that you can be there. But at that particular stage, point A, and how the situation is developing, you cannot find the exact solution how to reach there. That could as well involve, you know, multiple options available and you are hesitant or you are constrained by some way to get either of those options either because you have some information missing, for example, you don't know what are going to be the consequences of either option that you are to take, all right? Or uh, <clears throat> basically some other circumstances could constrain you from taking a uh, irrevocable decision here, which needs to be made in order one to kind of like liberate themselves from the chain of their mind. And that's why you are going to, or we Scorpios are going to brainstorm throughout this, uh, throughout this month or deliberate how exactly we can do what we want to do the way we want to do it. 
that is displayed here with the uh, page of sorts and the page of sorts that is the core of the situation points the original thought which is a, a very good thing all right uh, but the original thought in its first and initial stage it is not polished it is not shaved it, it, it isn't formed entirely there are quite of a, a blank spot in there which are kind of like they need their time in order to form in your mind if i may express myself that way this card here as well could represent that in order for you to make a move forward scorpio uh you have to as well sacrifice something thinking of think of it like a chess game right you you basically need to make a cleaning of one side of the field so you can make an attack uh, attack from from another or you have to sacrifice one side of the field so you can attack from the other and etc etc it is basically what we do have here it is a, a very good idea or a very good thought that comes to your mind you can definitely go there but it does need more time to be analyzed it does need more time to be planned so it's very important not to frustrate yourself throughout this week if you cannot find solution to your ideas or solution to your projects or in generally a solution to your worries and the magician card here into the challenging position it does point Scorpio that you may be left misunderstood and that is just the milder side of the uh, of the card the card may point that you very well have an idea how you're gonna get there but you are lacking the material resources or worse you're walking you are lacking the courage you are lacking the guts to do it so again it will depend on your uh, individual situation but again the uh, the material resources these are going to be a, a, a very few from us most of us are simply going to lack the um, the initiate uh, the initiative uh, the the initiative stage and they're going to be misunderstood therefore uh, we are not going to receive any support from whatever or basically people are going to ask too many questions or they are wanted or they will want too many warranties or they will try to tie us in a certain way to to make strings with us uh, in a certain way you know binding us to certain conditions that we are not going to be agreed at now for those who are way too stubborn you know definitely as this is a minor arcana here you can definitely say well screw it you know I will just do what I think is best and you do it right and uh, doing it that way it doesn't look like it's gonna work very well because uh, at that point the magician will prove itself right and it will show you that uh, basically you, you you did not had it's not really the idea but you Scorpio did not have the right assessment of what is awaiting you Forward. So it is very important that throughout this week you use it for deliberation, use it for uh, for analysis, you know, use it to even comprehend the goal in your head, and don't concern yourself and don't bother yourself with what could be. Um, this, the the right sentence here is that. You should, yeah, you should not concern yourself with what could be, but you need to focus on what is right now. Solving the matters and the problems one at the time is going to clear a lot of room for you to start seeing additional options available for yourself, uh, additional ways how you can approach that goal of yours, and eventually uh, you Scorpio are going to um, have the opening required and the open mind as well to uh, to basically take advantage of it. It is just it's not going to be that week. But the good thing about that week is that you do have the right idea in your mind. The last card that we do have, this is going to be the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups, it seems a little bit off in this uh, specific reading what this card points for you Scorpio is that maybe this week as you are uh, deliberating upon your new idea you should take a break from activities 
physical activities that is <clears throat> and instead of uh, worrying yourself with additional troubles here maybe it will be more more beneficial for you to spend more time entertaining yourself like experiencing joy having exhilaration uh, from meeting friends or watching movies or do whatever you whatever makes your heart overflowing with joy that is very important throughout the week because at some of those moments when your heart is overflowed with joy uh, then the the right mindset if i may express myself that way is going to uh, you are going to adopt the right mindset it's no different than a inventor for example that is trying to solve a, a mechanical a mechanical problem or any kind of a different problem and they are banging their head against the wall at their working place cannot solve it and cannot solve it and one day as one day as they are taking a hot shower at their place well suddenly the idea comes to them on its own accord and it is what is going to happen with you it is just you need to relax a little bit you know ease your mind from the stressful thoughts that you do have because being stressed means that you think for the future and you are missing the wonderful opportunities of today so be realist uh, not pessimist if i may express myself that way so that being said scorpio this was uh, the weekly tarot reading now let's see what the lenormand cards are to say for us what the lenormands are about to show us is a uh, event that uh, we should either look forward to or try to avoid in one way or another so the first card that we do have this is going to be the um, the fox which stands for cunning it stands for clever it stands for lies as well and it could stand it could stand as well as a worker the next card this is going to be the ring and the ring stands for marriage it does stands for partnership but it could stand as well as a commitment the next one this is going to be the path or the road and this stands for choice or it stands for multiple way, ways to approach something so it's exactly what we do have here a, a clever commitment that can be made or can be approached from a, a different angles and just because you don't see the the right angle at that particular moment it doesn't mean that it does not exist and it doesn't mean that you will not have the insight about it it is just it needs time to kind of be implanted in your head or it needs time for you to comprehend on it and if you are patient enough and again you give yourself time to kind of amuse yourself to entertain yourself with whatever you like to do then the the right idea or the right insight is going to uh, basically invade uh, your thoughts and then everything will happen like with the snap of your fingers magically so that being said scorpio this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for december 31st to january 6th 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again this was just a general reading for scorpio star signs and uh, for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different way with every single different scorpio so i uh, in this video i have explained you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end uh you have to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you uh, that is the subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing rat signing out now see you next time bye